Alright guys, welcome back for another one. We are continuing to transport Fever 2 our Apex Challenge, every product, every city, and before you jump on my case about maybe delaying getting fuel to Carlsbad one more day, uh, we are going to zoom out. We're actually going to do something a little different here at the beginning of this episode is because last episode, right, we expanded um, our main line here to four lanes and we have fuel, or at least the crude oil, the crude going to the oil refinery we have it on its own tracks we have it on the two outside tracks so since it shares its own tracks we can give its own separate vehicle that goes faster than the rest of them which is what i want to do in this episode before i do last episode if you guys recall we did unlock some new wagons let's go ahead and select a train here uh, we're going to select this well, actually before we select this line we need to check something real quick um, I need to know the platform length one, two, three. So we got a 160. It looks like it doesn't really matter what the other end and just make sure it's 160 at least also. And it is one, two, three, four. It is 160. All right. So we have two 160s. All right. Now select a train, manage vehicles, and we want to select all seven and let's go ahead and we're going to replace all. Now, last episode, like I said, we got new, uh, wagon types like but they're the same wagon types are just better so originally here we had this tank car that had a capacity of seven has a max speed of 50 kilometers per hour and you can see it's 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 rates up here we're not going to focus on this but there is going to be a huge difference and i'll just show you guys real quickly um so you can see the jump there right uh the price tag goes from 2000 to over five so um you're almost seeing a triple jump same thing with actually the price here it almost triple jumps there also so everything triples up and i carry 12 which is not triple the capacity, but we do have access to more speed. And that's the main feature. We need to capitalize on the speed. So we know that we can do a max speed of eight kilometers an hour. So then it comes the question of which wagon can get us that speed. Um, so we have 60 kilometers with the Baldwin. So that's why we need to get rid of the Baldwin. We have the Mongols of choice, which has a max speed of 75, not quite the 80 we need. And we have the 10 wheeler, which does have a max speed of 100. Um, Oh, it's just all better around. It just has more, uh, actually it's less emissions and it weighs less. It's just more expensive. Um, and it's probably bigger. If I add that that's 19 meters. If I add you that is 18 meters. Oh, it's only one meter bigger. That's like, all right. So for max speed, we're going to go with a 10 wheeler here and I'm hoping I can make profit. This is something I'm going to keep my eye on as I may need to make these uh, platforms longer to make sure that these trains stay profitable. Now, we are only going full in one direction, coming back empty. So uh, that's one thing we definitely have to keep in mind as we go here. All right, I think 150 is going to be my max here, which is 132. I don't know what we're carrying currently, um, but I'm pretty sure it's not 132 capacity. So we're going to get, we're going to be able to haul more at a time and we're going to be able to go at a faster speed. So let's go ahead and replace all it's going to cost us woo, a whopping almost 50 million and it's just ticking up as we sit here you just see it just constantly ticking up because the older machines are getting older and they cost more to replace and let's go ahead and get that done actually i shouldn't say they cost more to replace because it costs the same what it is i'm not getting the same amount of money back for the trains that i'm replacing and so as a devalue and appreciation appreciation is that that word depreciation Ugh. I don't have time to look it up guys. So anyway, as they decrease in value, right? I get less money back, which makes my price go up higher to replace. And I got plenty of money in the bank, so I'm not sweating this, but let's go ahead and replace all. Now the question becomes with the faster speed, the higher carry capacity, do we still need all these trains? So let's take a look at our lines here. Um, I already have these filtered correctly. So we just need to do a little trick here. We do this and oh, we're actually making pretty good money here. Um, so our rate is 381, which is almost our max, right? We do 400. Um, so that's actually good. We don't need to touch that at all. Uh, we can leave that be. Uh, they do. I didn't want that pin. They do have their thing. It's just going to take a while to cycle through to we actually get that max out of it. Um, but yeah, you can just see these guys right now. Look at you go. Look at you go. They will only go max speed of 80 kilometers per hour because that's all the little wagons will allow them to go. Um, and actually, they're not climbing their max speed very fast. Ew. I thought this was a little bit of a, um, uh, 
I know I just replay. I'm only playing one time speed, so maybe I need to give him more time. I mean, I'm not going to really do anything. I'm just curious of what I did. Oh, it takes him a long time to get up to speed. Ouch. All right. Like I said, I just need to know what I did. All right. So yeah, they take about three minutes to get up to fast, up to their max speed. So not quite ideal, but uh, they are going long distance. So it is, it can be ideal. Uh, the one thing that can stop us is them getting held up at one of these like intersections that could suck a little bit, but other than that, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll, I mean, they'll do great. All right. So now that that's taken care of, before we go on to expand here, we need to take care of these guys. And these are a simple solution, right? We're going to manage vehicles, kind of the same thing, replace all, and we're going to give them the better. We can even filter this if it's too much for you guys, right? Um, cargo. This is all, these are all these types we do need to do um oil and fuel so that's this one the flatbed's fine it's going to replace them all and what is our rate okay so we are doing ah, shoot all right so if we're getting a 380 that is 190. oh i doubt this is they're nowhere near 190. let me see um actually they're not bad off all right, let me see if I can get this up to 190. 14 vehicles. Let's go ahead and make them four. Oh, nope. Don't replace you. I just want to add more of you. All right, so now we're up to 18 vehicles. And what do you say? 168. Ah, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, you guys. Manage vehicle. Going to replace you guys while we're at it. All right, and your rate is 18 and you are demanding 18. All right, I'm perfectly fine with that. All right, so now everything up to the fuel line is pretty much more optimized. We're definitely going to leave it be, right? I'm not going to uh, stress about it too much, but we just want to create some extra fuel. So one, that this stuff could upgrade as needed. And two, um, we can grow into Carlsbad as we start to deliver. So let's take a look at Carlsbad. I don't know if we looked at this yet or not. If we did, I don't remember. So let's take a look at it. I do know I expanded some stuff here. All right, so let's see where the fuel is demanded. Our right, fuel's demanded all down here. So we're going to have to do some kind of depot. Oh, and unfortunately, we have a stop right where I think a good stop would be for dropping off fuel. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to drop fuel off right there. And we're going to need a depot. Zero. Oh, this is going to get messy. Uh, collision, everything else. Oh, this is going to get bad. Actually, what we can do. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I had an idea, but uh, it's just going to cause me more of a headache if I do it. All right, so there we go. It's probably not big enough um, to hold the amount of fuel or get dropped off. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a building here if I got room, which is one of my things I was concerned about, not having enough room. So it looks like you're going to have to get the axe. I'm not deleting any buildings. Please don't put it back. So that gives me a capacity of, all right, should be more than enough to hold what I'm going to deliver. All right, you're uh, a length of 120. All right, and I think we do have a through route here, correct? Yes, we do. All right, let's, let's see what it looks like. Let's put it in and uh, yeah, see what it looks like. And we'll go from there. New line, we're going to deliver fuel from here. The whole way to Carlsbad. Now you're doing the same line. Why? Why are you doing the same line? Um, don't do the same line. Go terminal two, please. Thank you. All right, you are delivering fuel, so let's make sure you're red. Trained delivery. And we are delivering fuel to Carlsbad. 
and we're gonna start naming it that way right <laughs> uh still to give a shout out to the guy who told me that this that the subtitles read this instead of the way it used to be uh the way it used to be all right anyways in in all right now we just gotta get a what's our demand here i don't think we're, we actually we can feed the demand the demand is 115 oh, that's a huge demand um Where's the depot at for the trams? Oh, it's over. What? All right. Well, that's getting replaced. We're going to put, we're going to put our line here for regular vehicles. Why I put something on the opposite side of a railroad is beyond me. That is like the worst idea you anyone could ever have. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. So let's just go ahead. We'll get this inner uh, line established. From here to here, what does that look like? Oh, it's crossing over. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think it's gonna matter a whole lot. I'm not a big fan of it, but I I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Um, I might regret saying that. Uh, let me see, inner or inner. What did I call this kind of stuff? I said Chesapeake Green Bay. Okay, this is that way. Uh, inner. Now, inner Carl's bad. The old delivery. All right, let's put a few on that line. Uh, we'll put two of you guys on. We'll expand if we need to, which we will need to. Out of curiosity, what does that look like? 26. So... 26, 50, 75, 100. All right, let's go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and throw on the rest of them right now. They'll, they'll start separating themselves out. All right, duplicate. Check them all, duplicate again. All right, so that should give me the rate that I need. Uh, not that I think I'm gonna be able to fill it right out the gate, but we'll try. I'll try my best. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Um, all right, so now we need a depot. Where's my nearest depot? And it's gonna be right there. What a mess. All right, so once again, we are still on the old, uh, we're still sharing the old track, so we'll have to go a bald one here. Oh, actually this is gonna suck. Oh, this is not great. All right. So if you're curious why I'm saying this sucks and it's not great because these ball winds are going to share this part of the track the whole way down with the faster vehicles. And actually we should probably fix this while I'm at it. Configure. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think on the fly how, how I want to handle this. Right, because I don't want these faster vehicles to be slowed down. Like, that's the opposite of what I want. I was going to pause it here while we destroy some stuff. Um, all right, guys, if I go quiet here for a minute, <laughs> it's because I'm thinking and I'm thinking really hard. Um, I do multiple lines. And then have it come back in uh, or do I just build them bigger and then sacrifice the speed here that they share with everybody else oh this is a hmm okay so when I upgraded the other vehicles in the beginning of this episode I did not take this into account you can chalk this up to bad planning well what else can you chalk it up to let's be honest all right, so that's fixed. Go ahead and back to play. Uh, this sucks. So do I go fast to not slow down the oil flow? And then the, they'll get stuck. I mean, they got to travel a really long way. Uh, all right, don't want, I don't, mm, I, <laughs> sorry guys. All right, let's do a Mongol. Uh, at least they'll go somewhat of a normal speed. Um, somewhat. All right, so we can only go to 120. 
Uh, I don't know. 113 makes me nervous. Let's say 101. All right, so let's buy that and put you on fuel to Carlsbad. All right, so that's going to go. As soon as that gets established, we're going to check out its rate. And actually, we're just going to go ahead and speed it up at this point so we can at least see some more before this episode wraps up, which I see we are getting pretty down in this episode. Um, all right, let's check it out. Let's go trains. All right, so fuel to Carlsbad, our rate of 37. Holy smokes. All right, so we need two more of these trains. All right, so let's keep an eye on this one. Um, all right, it's merging there. Let's go ahead and wait till it gets into the station uh, before we go ahead and make another one. The passengers in Carlsbad's adding up too. Um, I'll take a look at it here in a second. No, I don't, I'm trying to get these. I'm trying to do a little bit of manual separation. Um, the, I mean, because this, this line is not going to be established right away. What I mean by it won't be established right away um, is that on the platform, there won't be fuel going to Carlsbad right off the bat. It's going to take a while before the game recognizes, like, like say, it's already zero. Um, it's going to take a while for this uh, for the game to recognize this route. All right, so let's go to manage vehicle and let's go ahead and duplicate. As soon as the auto save wants to finish, thank you. All right, let's close you. Take a look at you. Kind of the same thing. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, what's passengers doing here? Carl's bad to Inglewood. Ooh. All right. We might need to upgrade the train that's going to Inglewood. Uh, well, okay. We'll take care of our fuel situation here first, and then we'll upgrade. We'll take home. We'll come back here. All right. Let's go ahead and follow this train. Why am I, why am I in this view? That's probably why I'm in this view. All right. All right. So this thing can go at max of 75 kilometers per hour, which is only five less than these other trains. So I'm kind of doing, trying to do a little bit of a give and take here. Uh, and we'll see what happens. They're not even getting to the max speed. It must be on an incline. Well, it does. It definitely looks like an incline. If I get the way down there, it definitely looks like an incline. Oh, it's actually catching. Interesting. So it must be a, uh, maybe it can accelerate faster because it doesn't have as much weight to pull. Oh, that sucks. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not standing for that signal. Is that one way or is that two? Ugh. Darn new saves or I should say new loads. Um, all right. So you're going in. Is there any fuel there for you at this point? Oh yes, plenty. It's already recognizing Carl's bad is needing more than Hartford. And that's awesome. That's what we want to see. All right. So you're picking up as soon as you're on your way. I'm going to go ahead and get a third train. And I'm going to leave it at three for now. You're good to go. Duplicate you. All right. Oh, we got an upgrade here. Awesome. Um, now this is going to cap out at 200. Um, Oh, look at that. That went to 552. That is too many trains. All right, let's find an empty one. Are you empty? Nope. Are you empty? Yes. All right, let's sell you. All right, got rid of a train. 473, still too much, but at least it's not like one dead train. Yeah, it is not. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. All right. And we should, this thing should constantly be empty. Uh, it may not have cycled through enough times for it to happen, but this should, yeah, it's okay. It doesn't even get to, all right, let me put an extra building here. Configure, uh, that's one way to fix overflowing problems. There we go. That should fix our overflowing problems. All right, so Carl's bad set up. Trains are on their way. Uh, the first train that arrives is not going anywhere, but I do want to check out this Inglewood situation. Um, there's a train. Where are you? 
And actually, you have most of this solo to yourself. How are you looking here? Oh my goodness. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's get this. Let's get this train upgraded. Manage train. All right. You pretty much have most of it yourself. So we look at the... Uh, so now I know what I'm going to do, but let me explain to you guys before I do it. So now if we look at um, the passenger car with... Uh, it goes at 80 kilometers per hour. So I'm actually going to be doing the Mongol here. I actually already have another example of this when we go from Chesapeake to Carlsbad where I'm using the Mongol. So I'm going to do the same thing here. It, it does have pretty much the majority of the track to itself. So... It shouldn't be affected by other things too much. We're going to go make the capacity 64 with four wagons. Um, the meters are 93. I'm pretty sure everything's 120 or greater. So we're good to go here. Let's go ahead and replace. And we'll just double check. This should be three. Um, and you can, you can tell by counting. Well, you usually you can tell by counting the signs, but that's a lot of signs. All right, it's a 120. All right, so both platforms are 120 right now. Yeah, they're both 120. All right. Yeah, it's easy in the cargo ones. You just count the number of red signs. A little bit harder with the passenger station. Um, looks like maybe they have two signs per section. Yeah, that seems like what they do. Two signs per section. All right. Uh, where are we at? All right, guys, we're doing a pretty good this episode. I don't want to go. What's what's oh, that's right. We're doing trams. We upgraded these trams last time. Another not more I can do other than put more trams on. Do I want actually I probably should since I've upgraded. All right, so let's put more trams on. I don't I didn't think we unlocked a new tram. Let's go ahead and put four more on duplicate. Maybe. All right. Put four more oil, It'll help with the passengers. We do, we're going to have more coming in since we upgraded the train. So we're definitely going to need, it's not just this situation. It's also this one here where they get dumped off. So we'll keep an eye on that. I don't like this corner. I might be able to... Right now my trams need that corner, so I'm not going to touch it, but I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. All right. Good. Ooh, what's going on here in Norwalk? Bravo. Oh, uh, yeah, Bravo should be growing. We did get machines at Bravo, but it doesn't look like we're getting a whole lot of machines at Bravo, but we'll leave it be for right now. No need. All right, so let's take a look at future expansion. So we have Norwalk taken care of. We have Carlsbad taken care of. We got Hartford being taken care of. So it's just down to Inglewood and Glendale. Glendale needs goods, which should be somewhat doable. Um,. Which we might use our deep, might use our depot here for, um, might probably will. And Inglewood, what do you need? You need to get fuel, and fuel is a long journey for you. I may end up. I wonder how much the game would hate me if instead of dropping fuel off in here at Hartford, if I took fuel to the depot and then went to Hartford and. Englewood with it. I don't know, guys. Let me ponder that while we wrap up this episode. So, guys, if you're enjoying this series so far, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on that notification bell. And don't forget to leave a comment. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.